Beaven Seagal. Kinda of looks though, I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's enough. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Oh, hello, hey there, me again. Uh, out snow blowing once again, in the same outfit once again, because I'm like Steve Jobs. I just wear a uniform. I don't want to think about what I have to wear. Also, this gets dirty and stinky and gassy and all the things that come along with using a snowblower. So it's just my snowblowing outfit. It's my work uniform. But I also look like a flying squirrel. Now, that's because I'm hot. I have to cool off. I have to unleash the heat from my lower under ears and look extra crazy while I'm doing it. That being said though, it's dawned on me. Well, I've always known it because I don't like fish stuff, but I've never tried a filet fish from McDonald's and my sister says they're crack cocaine. People on the internet says they're crack cocaine. ASMR bro lives for them. I don't really like fish or fish sandwiches, but something tells me a filet fish isn't even going to taste like fish. And if you slop the tartar sauce all over it, good chance any fishiness will be hidden. That being said, they look like a pillowy cloud of delicious fake fish. And I'm gonna try it today. I'm going to take myself out of my comfort zone and try a filet fish but also have a Big Mac too because we can't go to McDonald's without a Big Mac. And then also I think it could be a poutine or it could be a, a, a single pinch and dip. I don't know yet. I, I, think, I think maybe poutine today though. All right, another truck muck, filet fish first try. Let's do it. The McLand of milk and honey, we have arrived. I cannot wait to try this fake fish in a bun. I gotta get extra tartar sauce swapped all over it. Hey there, are you collecting any points on the app today? Nope. Here, what can I get for you? Can I get a Big Mac meal combo, please, with uh, fries as a poutine? Sorry, what was the drink? Uh, Coke. Okay. And then, can I also get a filet fish just a sandwich? Okay. With extra tartar? Okay. And just some ketchup in the bag, please. For sure. Is that all for you today? That's it, thank you. Can you get a first meal, please? And so it is done. The deed that we need. What am I talking about? I don't know. Slowly losing my mind. Uh, yeah, you got it. You dab it. <laughs> right. Like, what is this guy's seagull hat? Bro, beaver seagull hybrid. Am I a beaver seagull hybrid? <laughs> Beaven seagull. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks though. Not gonna lie. All right, that's enough. He bullshitted me. I'm now in the waiting game spot. It's fine though. That means it'll probably just means it'll probably be more fresh. I hope. Thy satchel doth be secure. Doth be secure. All right, y'all, Beaven Seagal here. Let's bring you down for the real thing, Ken, and inspect the gate. What we got? Well, first things first, they didn't poutine me. They gave me a very subpar medium fry, and it does charge for medium fry on the bill. So apparently she didn't hear that or punch that incorrectly. Whatevs. It's destiny. We're going with finger picking good times. All right. First time ever having a paleo fish in my entire life. I've never even inspectigated one of these, but wow, that's a plush soft bun. They definitely extra tartared. That I can mess with. And then you got your fish patty with your single piece of schmelty cheese. Let's get at her. I'm down for this for sure. It would not be a trip to McDonald's without the classic standard Big Mac looking exceptional, to be honest. Look at that. All right, y'all. First time having a filet of fish in all its excessively saucy glory. I'm so down that they actually did hit me up with that extra sauce, though, because y'all know I'm a saucy guy. All right, let's try this. I 
I've never had McDonald's tartar sauce. I am a fan of tartar sauce. Wow. I am so tartar sauce of the face. Definitely on a CD backroom set in LA with that much tartar on my face. All right. First impressions are very real fish flaky patty seemingly it doesn't seem like completely fake reformed bullshit it's very minimally fish tasting Not completely off putting. Nothing of the sorts. Um, the cheese kind of gets lost in the sauce. I'm speaking of the sauce. Not the greatest tartar I've ever had. It's all right. This tastes like a very tangy mayo. Would I get hung up on getting filet fishes? Absolutely not. In fact, that was the first and last time I think I'll ever get a filet fish. It was whatever. I don't see the hype, but people do love filet fishes All right, let's have some fries. First things first, let's try these fries with tartar sauce, because I do like a mayo-y, tartary fry, and we got a leftover bit here. That I messed with. Now let me hit y'all with a curveball. On my missions prior to my going to do a snowblowing job, I stopped at Popeyes and got myself my annual, and by annual I mean bi-weekly, bunch of black and ranch. Cause I love going by, spending like three bucks and getting eight of these. just to have in the fridge. For random purposes like this, and I've never had a McDonald's fry in a black and ranch. I can tell you, it is delicious. Not as good as sweet and sour or barbecue though. I could say that. Still nice. Is it better than the clock? <laughs> Is it better than the classic though? Classic ketchup? I don't know that there's anything better than fries with ketchup, especially McDonald's with McDonald's ketchup. Even though it might be just Heinz. I'm not sure. Still superior. And now for the greatest sandwich of all time, according to Don Gorski, who's eaten something like, I can't even remember how many Big Macs, but I watched a video of him the other day updating his uh, Big Mac fetish obsession and he's still eating two a day every day till he dies cheers Don Gorski
He's from Super Size Me. What he claims to be the perfect sandwich. Tough to say. But when it's right, it is, it is pretty perfect. Mm. All right, on a recent video of mine, somebody asked me, hoodie, sir, do you work out? Because how do you eat so much junk food and seem to not get ridiculously fat. And to that I say, it's not what you eat, it's how much you eat. Calories in, calories out. Now, certain foods are better for your body, systematically speaking, nutrients and all those things but as far as weight goes we have to constantly be out of surplus to gain a lot of weight i don't eat like the average person i eat generally one meal a day it's called omad and i fast pretty much the rest of the day if i do eat again it's a tiny snack like i'm talking like a pepperoni stick or a small salad or some veggies and dip or you know five cheese and crackers just something a little something if i need something but i generally eat one large meal a day which keeps me in my regular calories. If you're eating this type of food three, four times a day, of course you're going to become Nikocado, Avocado, or whoever. Orland now, too, is just as big. Holy fuck. But... It's not really what you eat, it's how much. So, there's lots of people who maintain a great physical condition. They still have pizza, burgers, whatever. But they count calories, they count macros and my, macronutrients and shit. And they get their workouts in. Even if you're just generally a a mobile person if you get your steps in you stand up throughout the day quite a bit you're constantly burning calories like that so yeah i don't know i also do believe i have a decent metabolism as well it's not amazing it's not the greatest but i do think in the scheme of metabolisms i fall somewhere in the range of like having a pretty pretty okay metabolism in terms of not being able to just blow up with tons of weight so pretty lucky in that regard but like i said i don't really eat i eat crazy but one time you know so there's that all right well filet fish wasn't super disgusting <laughs> wasn't a total letdown uh, i just would never get it again but I had to challenge myself to eat it at least one time. So the Big Mac though, perfect sandwich. <laughs> Amazing. Loved it. And this full sugar Coke, I'm, I'm telling you, that's the most dangerous thing right here. Full sugar Coke. You drink too many of these, then you find yourself in a potential world of 
fat diabetic pain, maybe, perhaps. But it's so delicious. A full sugar pop soda is like, it's crack, but it's something that you probably should keep at bay as much as you possibly can. But wow, 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 is it so tasty. Especially when it's fresh off the soda fresh off the soda stream here like right off the tap something about mcdonald's coke fountain coke is just a cut above it really is all right well impromptu uh just a video because hey i never had a play fish and i was out working again so till the next one you know too you good uh, <laughs> eat filet fishes and stay true if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.